up you guys it's your bro christina aka i christy marie and i'm back with another vlogmas video i am so sorry i've been gone finals have been crazy homework has been crazy but i'm done finally finished and now i can get back to what i really enjoy doing which is delivering content to you guys so i have a video that you guys have been asking for for a little while now well at least since i showed you guys my last couple perfumes that i picked up from sephora so girl get your get your little drinky poo okay and let's get on into it y'all to see how pretty this drink is that i made yesterday and this glass and guess how much it was. I got it for $7.99 at Home Goods. Just look how pretty the drink is. Mm. And it's so good. So I've got my notebook here with all the notes for the perfumes and we're just gonna go through them. I kind of separated them based on how they smell in their fragrance family. So the first fragrance family that we're going to go through is um the warm and spicy so i moved over a little bit so over here i can have all the notes and everything for the fragrances so you guys can kind of see it as opposed to me just saying it so over here will be um the fragrance family along with the notes that the perfume has incorporated in it so Let's get on started with this video. Uh, the first one that I want to talk to you guys about is Replica. Um, this is the By the Fireplace scent. It smells so good. I actually just, just picked this one up today obsessed okay it literally smells so woodsy so cozy and comforting without being too in your face and too much it's definitely for me i would consider it more of a nighttime scent when i smelled it in the store i wasn't super impressed um because you know they give you the little little pieces of paper that you can spray the perfumes on to kind of like see how it dries down how it smells when it dries down and I wasn't really feeling it I'm not gonna lie so when I first smelled it I was like mm, I don't see the hype it's not really giving what I wanted it to give and then as I was walking through the store I kept getting a whiff of things as I would pick things up and I guess I had like accidentally sprayed a little bit. I even still smell it. I had sprayed a little bit on my palm um, when I was, I guess, spraying the um, piece of paper. And the dry down, amazing, amazing. It's literally the perfect fall and winter scent. Like it smells so so good it definitely will remind you of sitting by a fireplace drinking hot chocolate drinking hot cocoa even if you're going on a date and you want to wear this scent it'll have you smelling very high class but also very cozy and comforting which i really do like about this scent i like this one a lot i'm so glad i changed my mind and picked it up because it's definitely going to be a staple in my fall and winter scent um routine so that's the first one we got we have the scent notes for by the fireplace the top is pink pepper um which gives it that roasted kind of vibe that roasted scent which i didn't realize how prominent it was until I read the notes and I saw that pink pepper was in it and it made sense immediately why it smells so 
roasty, so warm and cozy without being too drastic, and that is the pink pepper, for sure. And then there is orange fruit absolute, which I don't really get the orange too much, but I guess it's kind of nice because then it would be too much of a floral and not much of a woodsy scent. So I kind of appreciate that. And then the next is clove oil. Now the middle scents are chestnut accord, um, gaic wood oil, cade oil. The base is vanilla accord, peru balsam, resinoid, um, cashmere, which gives it the woodsy scent, but also makes it soft. So that's kind of, I guess, how they toned it down in order for it to not be too woodsy, which that's the key to the scent here. And then the concentration is, this is a eau de toilette, which means it is a water-based perfume as opposed to a um, oil-based, which I mean, I, I guess I sprayed this on myself around, we'll say like 12-ish, and I still smell it pretty good, so the dry down and the lasting power is a lot better than any other Eau de Toilette that I've ever kind of focused on or ever had in my collection, because usually with those <clears throat> concentrations, you have to reapply because they don't last as long but I'll get back to you on that since this is one of my newer scents I don't really know what its lasting power fully is so when I test out the lasting power of that scent I will speak on it probably in like a vlog or in a different video and let you guys know how I felt about it but so far so good I mean it is currently five o'clock and it's still as strong as it was when it first dried down on my skin at Sephora so I'm not complaining girl is good to me now moving on to the next one which is my favorite this is my favorite scent that I have bought this year no joke and it is um, Angel Share by Killian. It comes in this really beautiful glass bottle. Uh, this is from his, I don't know if it's the liquor collection or the cognac collection, but it's his collection where he utilizes different um, alcohol scents to create his fragrances. So that's kind of what they are based on. Hence why it's pretty fancy in this glass, um, in this glass bottle. It's supposed to mimic cognac, so that's why. The notes for Angel Share is, um, are cognac, cinnamon, oat, tonka bean, praline, vanilla, and sandalwood. Now this one, I definitely smell some of it all. Like if you've ever smelled what a spiced apple cider smells like, that's kind of what it gives for me. I love it though. The cognac makes it very warm, which I just... I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this. Literally since I've got it, I've worn it maybe three or four times, which is why it's already starting to <laughs> so we're starting to get get low. I'm gonna need another one before I know it, but <sighs> if you don't get any others from this haul, this collection get this one I know it's expensive this bottle I believe real retails for like $265 for this bottle which I know is small but seriously a little lasts a long 
a little goes a long way for this for sure like I think I only do maybe one or two spritz one on my wrist and one on my neck and my whole body permeates that great sweet spicy warm goodness scent all day long literally all day long actually even past all day long I can get in the shower and still smell this like the lady told me that in Sephora when I um when I bought it she told me that some people have like taken full showers gotten out and still smell the scent I did not believe her until I realized it myself <laughs> it is strong it is um, an Eau de Parfum, which is a oil-based um, concentration, which is why it has such great lasting power. So I absolutely love this. If you have a special person in your life or a mom that you just really love, like we all love our moms, um, I highly suggest or even if you want to get it for yourself as a self-care gift self-care investment Sephora card is literally the best and the worst thing that has ever happened to me literally though Sephora credit card best and worst thing that has ever happened to me period but seriously building your collection and fragrances yes it becomes expensive but it's also an investment it's an investment in yourself and just feeling good within yourself and nothing beats that nothing feeling good in yourself is priceless so if you need something for yourself something self-care something that just makes you feel good and warm and cozy inside go ahead and pick that one up or at least go smell it in the store and let me know down below what you thought about it because you're gonna thank me you're gonna thank me best 265 dollars i'd ever spent okay besides my degree hello all right so the next one that we are going to go through is one I've had for a little while. That's why it's, you know, getting a little low. But it is the K. Ali Vanilla 28. I, I have this obsession with vanilla scents. And I am convinced because literally everything that... I wear on a regular basis has some sort of vanilla in it whether it's tonka bean <laughs> um, bourbon vanilla plain vanilla vanilla cord it all has vanilla in it K. Ali vanilla scents uh, notes are its top notes are vanilla orchid and jasmine Middle notes are brown sugar and tonka bean. I told you. I told you. And then the base is amber, amber wood, musk, and patchouli. So this is a really, I like this one a lot. And it's definitely more of a subtle vanilla. Like it gives the vanilla effect without being too um marshmallow <laughs> without being too kitty I guess is the way of saying it it is very warm <clears throat> very enticing very just alluring so if you want if you want that in general I definitely suggest the warm and spicy fragrance house fragrance family scents because that that warm cozy invitingness is what lures people to you so 
definitely if that's like your vibe warm spicy scents are for you for sure not saying that florals and um clean scents can't be alluring because that's not true but everybody knows that feeling of smelling fresh baked cookies when you come home from school when you were a child right if you ever had your mom make fresh baked cookies when you were a child and you came home from school and you smelled it all the way from your bedroom that's what kind of vibe warm and spicy scents give for me at least in my opinion that's what it seems like it gives very like oh i smell that from the top stairs let me go find out what it is so if that is your vibe which it is very much my vibe um warm and spicy scents are definitely for you so moving on to the next one this one is a little bit more on the affordable side you can't get it from sephora but you can get it from zara it is the i clearly love it because look look how much is left in this thing <laughs> this is the ebony wood um scent which also i didn't know this but this was also created by Joe Malone which now that I'm looking at it looking at the bottle and smelling the scent it makes so much sense how this is Joe Malone's scent this is very this is very Joe Malone <laughs> like I don't know how I missed that to begin with but this is very Joe Malone from the bottle to the scent. I like layering this one. So I love this one by itself. I wear it a lot by itself, hence why I actually need to go get another one because if I don't wear it by itself, I wear it as a layering item. So I, I just, this is a basic, but it's also very simple. It's very light. It, again, with the lasting power, is very long-lasting. I can wear this all day and I have to um, reapply or respray myself. Definitely a go-to scent if you can find it. If you can find it. My girl Kyra... <clears throat> on youtube um well she's not my girl she's a youtuber that i watch a lot she i guess name dropped this <laughs> a couple of months ago and ever since this is one of the hot commodities of zara you cannot find this anywhere it's a little better now that it's warm or now that it's cooler outside people aren't really gravitating as much or like the hype kind of died down a little bit but still one of my favorite scents um, the notes for this are ebony cloves and pink pepper any woodsy scent that you have or that you spray on yourself is either going to have a musk or a pink pepper it helps with that like that strong cozy vibe that woods give like birch wood and balsam and just when you have like fire logs or logs for your fireplace whatever that strong scent but also soft reason being is the pink pepper especially in fragrances oh, just, I just I don't know what it is about this one that I just love but I always go back to it hence why I need another bottle so all right 
Next one is another new one. I've had this for maybe a couple of weeks, but this is the Prada Candy. My mom had this <laughs> before it was popular. Um, I remember my mom wearing this when I was a child and it's the, every time I smell it, every time I smell it, I think of my mom <laughs> and not in a bad way, just in a way that it's very comforting. It's very homey. It's very, it brings like a lot of memories. I don't know. I think because my mom wore this a lot and this was one of her favorites or this is one of her favorites still, I just, anytime I smell this one, I think of her. So I wanted to get this one because I like the scent genuinely, but I also love that it's one of those scents that uh, produce like olfactory memories, which is kind of cool. So even like when my mom is not around, when I move eventually and I'm no longer 15 minutes away, I have something that will still provide those memories, if that makes sense. So the notes for candy by Prada are white musk, again with the musk, benzoin, and caramel accord. I don't know I just I love this one it's very memory based and gives me all of the cozy vibes that I need especially for this time of year so those are all of the warm woodsy spicy scents that I have in my collection as of right now so but I'm sure I will buy some more because I just I warm spicy scents got me in a chokehold and have had me in a chokehold all my life because that is just my vibe. I will pick a warm and spicy scent over a floral always just because it just gives my vibe. And you can wear those day and night. I would say um, that the replica for me is a little bit more of a nighttime scent. I wear that mostly I'd wear that mostly for like a date night or like just going out in the evening hanging out with your girlfriends going to the movies whatever it's it just gives more of a nighttime scent just because it is like so woody and um cozy just for me it just gives more nighttime but the other ones I have worn during the day, I wear during the day, and will always wear during the day. So, but feel free to kind of like explore it, even if you want to try to find a fragrance that you can combine with the replica the, by the fireplace and see if there's something that makes it a little bit more daytime. Try it out. Fragrances is all about. Um, finding that fragrance that is unique to you so even though you buy a specific fragrance you can mix and match and try to see what best fits you and what makes you you the whole goal is to find a scent that's unique to you and your personal style so that is all the warm and woodsies now we're going to move on to the florals. Let me move them over. Alright, so we're going to start with just the regular florals first. So the regular floral that we're going to start off with is Dylan Blue, which is by Versace. It comes like this. It looks like this. And it is as well an Eau de Parfum, which means it is oil-based and not water-based. Love this scent definitely a go-to daytime scent for me um just because it is so like flowery and just fresh but also giving the vibe of like grown and sophisticated with a little bit of sweetness so 
I like this one. The notes are, the top notes are Black Current, Granny Smith, Clover Accord, Forget Me Not, and um, um, Shisolia Smith. I'm assuming that's like a sort of flower or a fruit. So that's the top notes. The middle notes are Aglantine Rose, Petelia, um, Rosifolia, Iced Infused, Iced Infusion of Peach, and Jasmine. The base notes are Styrax White, Smooth Woods. I think that says music <laughs> or musk. I can't read my own writing. Musk patchouli. Uh, patchouli cure which is heart and um, in French patchouli cure so that is the notes for this one now that I smell it I do kind of get that subtle hint of Granny Smith I didn't realize I had Granny Smith in it but now I see it gives that little bit of sourness when you first when it first hits your nose wow i did not realize that before that's awesome i really like this one again it's a very statement daytime scent however this one is very common i have smelled a lot of people with the same scent and i know exactly what it is when i smell it so if you want Something more unique. I don't know if Dumb and Blue would be it, but like I said, you can always get a fragrance and make it your own, customize it, try to put it with different things, see if you like it. But definitely a great scent. I actually am thinking about getting this for my mom <laughs> because she she likes the rosy scents. Um, so I think that would be a good one for my mom. So, thinking about this one. Great gift. It comes in, I think, three sizes. It comes in like a travel size, which is, this is basically a travel size. It, this one is 1.7 fluid ounces. So, even if you wanted to travel with this one, you can. Um. It comes in like a, a travel size, like spray or roller bottle, this size and a size bigger than this one. So definitely great gift idea if you're looking for something for, like I said, a special person in your life, family member that you love, or even just for yourself, like I said. Next is Prada Paradox. Come on now. Just look at the just look at the bottle. Look at the bottle. It's the bottle. <laughs> like I, I didn't even know what this one smelled like when I got in the store, but I knew just based on the bottle. Just based on the bottle, I knew I had to have it. And it did not disappoint. Prada did what they had to do with this one. And left no crumbs. Because, wow. <laughs> because, wow. I just, I don't even know what to say about this. This is my daily. If you need a daily scent, a scent that you can wear every day is this one right here now I don't of course don't wear it every day but it is a go-to for sure if I need a sexy but classy not too slutty um, scent that just gives that wow factor <clears throat> without <clears throat> Well, let's try that again. It gives that like wow factor without giving too much. 
it's this one definitely a standout scent you will walk around the mall walk around the job walk around school and get noticed by this one for sure no lie just straight vibes this one is straight vibes for sure and just, the bottle just makes it even better it's just so pretty it's the one that I keep right in the front of <clears throat> my perfume tray and I just love it the scents uh, scent notes for this one are um, the top is pear tangerine and bergamot middle is orange blossom jasmine sandback neroli essence and neroli and then the base is bourbon vanilla i told y'all vanilla gets me every time white musk amber and i think there's one more i think there's one more yeah and benzoin so love the scent go to run don't walk because this when sephora had their sephora sale for the holidays this was sparse <laughs> like it was very sparse i had to go to a mall that was a little farther for me to get this because they didn't have it at mine so run do not walk for this scent or you will miss it trust and believe so the next one that i have which is actually currently empty because i need another one i actually need to get this and i keep forgetting every time i go there i'm like i get everything but what i need but this is um, Giorgio Armani C, the original. Just, there's not super much to say about this one. This one's another like subtle but very alluring floral scent. The notes for this one um, are the top notes is Cassis, middle is May Rose and francia or freesia base is vanilla again with the vanilla patchouli woody notes and uh and broxen so i i love ambery florals i love woody florals because they give the vibe the coziness of the woody scents but also give the sweetness of florals so it kind of balances them out as opposed to being too sweet which I feel like some florals for me in my opinion are too sweet and that's why I don't gravitate toward them but that one is like the perfect mix of sweet and spicy and woody and musky I love it love it it's actually one of my first luxury perfumes that I actually got I think I got that for my birthday and no regrets that's why it's gone <laughs> that's why it's gone because I got that on my birthday well I mean I guess I did pretty well though because I got it in February it's now December and I still got a little bit left so I say I did pretty good I didn't do too bad okay and next another new one for me this is the YSL Libre Lip Perfume. One, this bottle. Absolutely love this bottle. Can we just take a moment? Just to, it screams luxe. It screams luxury, sexy. Just warm inviting it's alluring the bottle itself is very alluring look at the just ambery perfume with the simple gold ysl across and then 
they've got some gold detailing here and just a simple black cap but all together it just screams you got money that's what it screams and the scent is no different this is another like warm floral which like i said those are the ones i kind of gravitate a little bit more towards oh yeah this one's a hit not a miss i love this one it's so good i think somebody said that there's a really good dupe to this one by dossier um, they created a really great dupe for a little bit more affordable than this is it's not super unaffordable but if you want something even cheaper even if you want it to get a gift that has the scent but not the price tag dossier is your girl okay they have a scent that is literally just like this it's just not ysl so check that out if you if you're looking for an alternative option especially with the holiday season everybody's getting gifts for multiple people not just one so the affordable options might be the better options for you check out this year they have a lot of dupes for a lot of the ones that i showed you already and even the ones that i have left to show you check them out i'm just giving you the notes for these but as far as dossier and their dupes still the same scent class still the same scent profile just different brand makes sense so for this one like i said this is an ambery floral top notes are ginger and saffron which you definitely get that very spicy hit from the saffron as soon as you smell it or as soon as you spray it that's the first thing i smell is that spiciness of the saffron which is what makes it a little bit more of a warm floral um the middle notes are mandarin orange and lavender base notes are bourbon vanilla <laughs> honey tonka bean and uh, vetiver so if you're looking for a gift this is not a bad one seriously this is a great option for gifts so that is why sell le perfume moving on to the next one now the next one for me is a little bit not of a miss but it's still growing on me i feel like when i smelled it in the store I liked it a lot and I think maybe maybe it just needs to grow on me and I don't dislike it don't get me wrong do not dislike it at all it's just maybe a little bit sweeter than I thought it was and the perfume is love don't be shy by Killian beautiful bottle gorgeous packaging i love the detail work on the sides and just the the gold plate here with the label and the gold top and it's got a k on the top it's a gorgeous bottle gorgeous packaging love it came in a really nice box i don't have it here it's actually in my closet with my other perfumes and stuff but I think it just needs to grow on me. Let me. Yeah, okay. So see now, it wasn't as bad. I think, I think maybe before I was smelling a mix of this and something else. And I was like, mm, mm, not feeling it. It's not cutting it. And it is too expensive for you to not like it. Trust me. So. This is, like I said, Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. The top notes are neroli, bergamot, pink pepper, and coriander. You definitely smell the pink pepper. Definitely gives that spice when you first smell it. 
so it's definitely there middle notes are orange blossom jasmine honeysuckle rose and iris base notes are sugar vanilla caramel musk civet and uh labden labdenum that's what we're gonna say labdenum <laughs> labdenum there we go but yeah very maybe it's, it gives a little bit more grown woman not like grown woman like chanel number no. five but grown woman like just more so of i make six figures i drive a mercedes and i carry my yfl bag like i don't know it just it gives that's what it gives for me this here so i think that's why this gives a little bit more of a grown woman vibe for me or like a growner woman than me i'm still childish a little bit so i think that's why it, it has to grow on me i have to get like new experiences uh new levels in life for this one to make sense <laughs> for me but i do like this one a lot it is definitely a statement fragrance if you're looking for something that again gives that wow factor you pass somebody and they're gonna instantly be like what's that like it definitely gives that so if you are looking for more of a statement fragrance that is you know you walking into your new wealth which i'm claiming it manifesting it all that writing it down i will get there haven't gotten there yet but i'm getting there promise and that is when this will make sense but right now it makes sense but it has to grow on me a little bit i think i gotta grow up a little bit more too for it to make a little bit more sense but again amazing scent especially as a gift if you want to give it to like your mom your friend that just started her new franchise new business your favorite youtuber like getting that grown mommy grown woman status grown woman money like making big girl purchases this one's for you promise you she gonna be like i'm spraying this tonight so yeah that is all of my fragrances that i have for you guys this is my little collection slash haul of all of my fragrances that i am currently utilizing right now i'm currently using if you like this video give it a big thumbs up we're talking big thumbs up give it a comment comment which one is your favorite comment which one you've tried and maybe is your least favorite comment with comment which one you think you might try or thinking about buying for yourself comment any questions that you have for me um but i'm so glad you guys showed up here i'm so glad you guys are here thank you guys so much for being so kind and loving and gracious with this whole school thing and everything going on i am back i promise Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.